I am never buying salad from the supermarket again. I wish someone had told me this when I was raising my kids on my own on a pretty tight budget. I thought buying salad was the convenient thing to do despite the cost and I was wrong. So now that I've done the maths, I hope to share what I've learned with you so you don't waste money like I did. But before I get into that, I want to explain what I'm doing in the background of this video. You will see me in real time sewing my own salad as I want you to see just how easy, efficient and quick it can be and how much I can sew without any preparation in the time it takes me to talk you through this video. Now, we all love a good salad in my family, so I buy bags of salad very often. That is until my own salad matured just recently and I was able to start harvesting from it. Thank goodness for that, because up until recently, I would buy bags of salad several times a week and I would have bought it every day if it wasn't for the cost being so high. And that was before I had even done the maths and added up just how much I really was spending. I realised then my salad costs were not only not sustainable, they were not excusable or justifiable. And now that I've worked out just how much I've spent on bags of salad in the last year, five years, whatever, I want to persuade you to ditch those supermarket bags yourself and grow your own as well, like me. So in this video, I'm going to show you how quickly it all adds up and how you can reduce your costs to almost nil and enjoy a tastier and more nutritious salad instead. I was spending close to £10 a week just in Marks and Spencers, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. But then I started thinking, wait, why don't I actually just sit down and work this out? So I did. And it's an eye-watering amount. In five years, I could have saved enough for a luxury trip or two to the Caribbean with plenty of money left over for cocktails and good food. Instead of wasting my money on a product, I can grow as easy as pie at home for next to nothing. So let's dive into my estimates. Now, since I have been keep, haven't been keeping the receipts, this is an estimate based on my own personal shopping habits, but I've been extremely conservative, I think, not including extra or impulse buys or even salads such as a, you know, um, a, a whole salad, like a whole lettuce. I haven't even included those. Those would be extras. I do occasionally buy those if we're having a barbecue or some sort of family event or my daughter wants it in her sandwiches. But so I'm just talking about the bags of salad. You know, if you want to add up all the other costs as well, feel free. And I think it was a worthwhile exercise, to be honest. I'm a family of four. There's me and three kids. Typically, I purchase around four to five supermarket bags of salad a week. Usually two of those will be from a more budget friendly supermarket, such as Aldi, where I do my main family shop. But since you can't store salad and therefore stock up on it, I usually top up with, you know, another three bags or so throughout the week from a more conveniently located store, which invariably charges more for the bags of salad. And in my case, this is M&S, so it definitely costs more. But I weigh it up because I'm passing that way anyway. I'm going that way whereas I don't go to Aldi. So you're always weighing up these sort of pros and cons of paying more or less, depending on the time and the petrol, the journey, etc. And that's what I've done. So that's how it works for me. So since I don't tend to buy salad from the larger supermarkets, such as Sainsbury's, Asda or Tesco's, my personal opinion is that they offer the worst quality salads. I only buy from the cheapest Aldi and then the more expensive M&S, but I figure the average probably by the time you add it together, it works out about the same average as Sainsbury's, uh, Tesco's and Aldi anyway. Anyhow, you get the picture, okay? So let's get started. So with Aldi, off I go to Aldi once a week to stock up on things uh, at a budget-friendly supermarket and I'll throw in a couple of packets of salad into the trolley. And their salad is 89p a bag, the one that I like, which is the Italian style, 
and I buy two and that is £1.79 a week that I spend on bags of salad in Aldi. Doesn't sound like a trip to the Caribbean yet, does it? Okay, so then, of course, I'm done with Aldi and I can't buy enough salad to keep me in through going through the week. So I have to then go to M&S, which um, happens to kind of be on my way during the school run. So I can kind of pass by that shop quite a lot, several times a week. And I buy the larger bags, as I showed in the clip before, it, you get more for your money. So the larger bag is better value. So I buy two, three of those typically through the week as a top up and they are £2.50 each. And so that comes in at £7.50 a week. So that's quite a big difference, isn't it? And once I did this, I suddenly realised I, I, you know, thank goodness I'm growing my own now because... You know, I don't think that was really covering the costs I was saving on petrol from going to Aldi. But anyhow, uh, so the total, the salad total a week from both Aldi and M&S was £9.29. OK, so a month at Aldi, I was spending on salad £7.16 a month. And this is a very conservative estimate, as I say. This doesn't include when you throw in a head of iceberg lettuce or some little gem lettuces or things like that. At m and I was spending £7.50 a week times four equals £30 a month. What? Okay, so the total a month I was spending on bags of air with some green in was £37.16. OK, so then we move on to a year. How much did I spend on salad in a year? And as I will repeat again, it's a very conservative estimate. At Aldi, it was £7.16 a month times 12 months is £85.92. And at Marks and Spencers, it was £30 times 12, which is, oh, I'm actually almost too embarrassed to say this number. £360 a year on bags of salad, which is a total of £445.92 a year on bags of salad. Now, remember, that does not include iceberg lettuce, little gem lettuce, broccoli, carrots, peas, onions, peppers, potatoes, herbs. It doesn't count any of that. So that was a shocker to me. And as I say, I'm growing my own. As you can see in this video, I'm growing my own even right now as I'm doing this video. But of course, that isn't the end of the maths lesson. There we are. We've got, our, you know, £445.92. That doesn't buy you a trip in the Caribbean. You're all calling me out. You're saying my video is clickbait and it isn't clickbait because this amount, of course, will still buy you a really nice long weekend trip in Rome, Paris, or even a seven day all inclusive kind of family holiday package deal to Spain. But I did say this was over five years because really sometimes to really understand how much money you waste, you kind of really have to consolidate it and add it up over time. And I calculated that over five years, I spent on salad, wait for it, £2,443.21. Now, not only is that a trip to the Caribbean for me, it's a trip to the Caribbean for a guest, whoever I want to bring, or I can go twice. And I still have enough money leftover for cocktails and some pretty tasty food while I'm there. Can you believe that? It's honestly, it shocked me. And if it hadn't been for the supermarkets robbing me blind, I probably wouldn't have sat back and worked this all out. So you have to start growing your own and it's not as hard as you think. Okay, so I was real time filming myself preparing these seed trays to sow some cut and come again lettuce. 
and I'm going to do sort of spinach, chard and I did a, a, a mix, a gourmet mix of lettuce. They're cut and come again. I'm not going to transplant them, they're going to stay so they'll be sown once in these trays and then they will be harvested just as I was harvesting those ones out of my hanging baskets at the beginning of the video. And yes, it took me 18 minutes roughly and that was fan it, uh, faffing around with the camera as well, which of course you wouldn't need to do. So, but I don't want the video to be 18 minutes. So I am just going to fast forward this last bit where I sew them and I just surface sew and then I kind of scuff up the surface so that the seeds go under the soil a bit. And that's all I do. And it's wet. You saw me watering it as well. So um, I just want to show you these uh, these cost breakdowns here. So the foil trays, I love these foil trays. They're 62p for two from a sort of, I got mine from Home Bargain. So I would definitely recommend getting them from a general kind of budget store, not a supermarket. They tend to charge more in a supermarket. They've got like a captive audience, obviously. So these are food grade aluminium roasting trays which I've adopted which you saw me doing at the beginning by folding the corners to make them a bit stronger and obviously I added drainage holes as well and so let's say I did four if I took if I did six in 18 minutes let's let's say I did four in the length of this video so four trays is one pound 24. The compost I mean it's 6.99 a bag I've estimated I used a quarter of a bag, which I probably didn't even get close to using that. But let's just say I did. That's £1.75. Sharp sand is about £3.35 a bag. I just buy that from my local DIY store. And I used a few handfuls and I was estimating that was about an eighth, maybe 41p. Spinach seeds I get from, I get all my seeds my salad seeds from Premier Seeds Direct in the UK. So you would have to, wherever you are, US, Canada, you can use Johnny's Seeds. I'm not even sure where else uh, those you would get your seeds from in other countries. But the reason I love Premier Seeds Direct is because you get a, a really solid quantity of seeds and they are organic. They're Soil Association certified and that is a pretty rigorous certification so that is absolutely excellent and let me just tell you give you a quick rundown the spinach seeds here you can see one pound 19 you get 500 the rocket seeds one pound 39 you get 3000 the mixed leaf seeds which is a gourmet mix is 540 seeds for 199 and the chard is 300 for 199 and these are organic soil association certified organic so that's nine pounds 96 in total for all that salad and those seeds you're going to be able to sow again and again because there'll be loads left over and you can even leave a tray to go to seed so that you can collect your own seed and then you'll just have perpetual salad for as many years as you want five years or more so there you go why, why do we do this why do we buy it from the shops when it's just so easy to grow at home anyway i hope i've at least given you food for thought and if you like this video and this content and you found it interesting and helpful and insightful then obviously please subscribe and click the notification bell share with your friends visit my website www.jillbretherton.com and i'll see you again in my next video thanks for watching bye